Our world is a sad, depressing, menacing, terrible place. Not convinced? Turn on the news tonight and you'll see. The news is one of the most depressing platforms ever. You'll see people dying from hunger, AIDS, wars, chemical weapons, poverty, climate change. It's a compilation of just terrible things. And what's worse than the fact that news is depressing is that it is constant. Let's say a terrorist attack happens. A notification on your smartphone comes up. You learn that hundreds died, thousands injured. It's a heavy load of information to take in. And then you go on social media and you read articles that are shared with the hashtag, pray for whatever city was damaged. And you're reminded of the tragedy that happened. Then you turn on the evening news, where you take in the same tragedy. Maybe the death tolls have gone up since when you looked at it from the morning. But in the end, you're taking in the same news. But the media is not done with you yet. When you turn on the midnight news, you learn the same things. And not to mention that every hour or two, there's an update on your phone reminding you of this terrible, scary thing that has happened. <clears throat> it reminds you things like, 54 Mali citizens were killed during a jihadist attack. California school, sh school shooter suspect has died. Woman was charged with capital murder. Climate change might hit economy harder and faster than thought. These are some of the headlines that were released by the media this earlier this week. The face of information has been changing rapidly. It's faster than ever. What used to be people just getting information from only the newspaper or only the evening news has now combined all together. This is the face of 24 hour media. The issue with 24-hour media is that it simply gets too much. I mean, who would want to be reminded every hour of war and famine and murder and poverty, climate change? It only reminds us how fortunate we are that how we're not directly affected by those things, which is meant by guilt. And then we realize how hopeless, helpless, and powerless we are. It's important to catch up on the news every day, but when it's done every hour or so, it's simply tiring, scary, and it just makes us feel small. And no one likes feeling that, which is why we develop what's called the compassion fatigue. Compassion fatigue is when we become indifferent, when we don't when we start not caring about suffering people because of the frequency of their appeal. There was a moment when we just shut off and we just can't do it anymore. We just don't care anymore. You know, reading the news is voluntary. So when we have the choice to either read all the news and feel tired about it or shut out the news and not feel tired about it, people could find themselves choosing the latter. And this is the issue with 24, me 24 hour media is that people end up turning away from tragedy because of its constant appeal. I mean, I get where 24 hour media is coming from. They just want to give people the fastest, most accurate information. They're taking advantage of what we didn't have years ago. But what's the point if, if, if it's making people turn, turn away from tragedy that needs, to be, that needs to be learned? So the question is, where is the balance? Too much news is not good, but not knowing any news is even more worse. 
24-hour media will always keep on feeding us information. So it is up to us, up to us to determine how much is too much news and how much is too less news. This is a crucial, <clears throat> important skill we need in living and growing up in this sad, depressing, menacing, terrible world. Thank you.